Akufe, uh -huh. which is hand fan. Uh -huh. And we said air conditioner is Akufe. Air conditioner. I mean, Sorry, <laughs> no, you shouldn't have said it. <laughs> Everybody, hi. Umunem, Arabam, Ndewon. I humble watching American Zito is a But you can call me watches. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to learn how to name the typical household objects in Igbo. Right? In Igbo, we call it Hindi de Nolo. That's things you find in the house. All typical household objects. So, after the lesson today, you would learn how to say all the things all the major objects that you're gonna be you're gonna find in the house in the kitchen in the living room you know wherever it is right and as usual we have a we have a guest here we have a special guest she's been on this channel twice right and this whole time she's been a wonderful student she's been learning pretty good and so fast as well and you know she's doing well so we had to bring her back again right good so that's miss odako Thank you, 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 thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so, now, I already mentioned the topic, right? Yeah. So, we're going to learn what you find in the household. Okay. As I said. And we'll start with the living room. Okay. The typical things that you find in the living room. So, when you enter, the first thing that we're going to learn is door. Door. Like the door. Okay. What you call it in Igbo is ozo. 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 Yeah, so it's the O sound. Okay. Ozo. 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 Yeah. So you're, you're kind of saying U, but it's okay. Just it's O, not U. O. Zo. Zo. Ozo. Perfect. Okay. Cool. See? Ozo. That's Do. Okay. Right? Good. So if you want to say, for instance, you want to ask someone to open the door for you, say, Mehere Mozo. Mehere Yeah, so open the door for me. Okay. Right? So Ozo is the first one. Okay. Good. Now for the window. In Igbo, there is no um word for window. So we just call it window. Okay, window. Yeah, That's we call easy. it window. So that way it's easy. Thank you. I like yeah. that word. <laughs> but you know, the way we call it in Igbo is in such a way that why you call it window, like with your accent, mm -hmm. we call it window. You know, window. like window, that window. kind of a thing. So it, make, it makes it sound heavy. <laughs> oh, window. So, so just put the accent on it. Yeah, so it's, okay. it's, it's spelled W I N D O. Window. Wow. Exactly. Let's forget the other W. Just like that. Okay. You know, because mm -hmm. you know, Igbo is like a window. phonetic language. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we call it, window, right? Window. Now for the clock, you know, if you come into the house, you're going to see a clock, right? Mm -hmm. The clock, we call it Elekere. 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 Yeah, if you remember when we learned how to tell the time in Igbo, we said hour is elekere. Right? Mm -hmm. When we said okola elekere is in kotutu. For instance, so that you're saying it is 5 a.m. or it is 5 o'clock in the morning. So elekere stands for hour. Elekere also stands for the clock itself. Right? So the clock, you call it elekere. 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 Good. I hope you learned that one. Elekere. Did you just repeat it? Okay, say it one more time. Perfect. Now for the chair. You know, like chair, uh -huh. any type. It doesn't matter if it's a sofa. It doesn't matter. If, like any kind of chair, right? In Igbo, we call it oche. 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 Good. Oche. Oche. Yeah. So you see, door is ozo. Ozo. Chair is oche. Oche. Window is window. window. Just like that. Right? Clock is elekere. Elekere. Good. Perfect. So chair. Oche. 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 Good. So just straightforward. Oche. That's oche. It. Yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if you want to say table, right? Table. Mm -hmm. That you put stuff on. We, we call it tebolo. 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 Tebulo. Exactly. So we don't have yeah. a different word for it as well. So instead we call it tebolo. Tebulo. So you, you put O 
le o so tebolo. Tebolo. Exactly. That's what we call it in Igbo. Say it. Tebolo. One more time. Tebolo. Okay, say tebolo. it slowly this time. Tebolo. 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 Good. <laughs> yeah, so table is tebolo. Tebolo. Perfect. So at this point, we'll take a break as usual, right? Because we've we've learned the first five things. We'll take a break and then we'll ask her just to find out how much she's learned. And as I always say, make sure you repeat after me, right? Or rather, answer the question with her. So as I ask her the question, before she answers it, you answer it. If you need to pause the video, as I always say, pause the video, feel free. Test your knowledge, you know, test what you've learned so far. That way, as you keep doing this and practicing the way it sounds, you know, in your ears, like when you say it by yourself, you will get comfortable with the words, right? Good. Hello? Hello? Auntie? Is this your first time on my channel? What do you want? Is it not video to watch? I will upload more videos. All you have to do is just click the subscribe button and click the bell button beside it. Make sure you follow me on all social media platforms. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you. So how do you say do in Igbo? Ozo. 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 Yeah, good job. <laughs> how about window? Window. Window. Yes. Mm. See, that was easy. Just window. The same thing. Window. Yeah. Okay, so how do you say clock? Elekere. Elekere. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's good. Okay. How about chair? Oche. 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 Good. Yeah. Oche. Oche. Remember that in Igbo language, most of the time, because we have two different types of O. We have the O with the dot, mm -hmm. and we have the one without the dot. So the one with the dot is the one we call O. O. You know what I mean? Okay. So, but the one without the dot so is, is O, is pronounced okay. O. Okay, so this one doesn't have the dot. Yeah, this one doesn't have the dot. So that's why you don't call it Oche. You call it Oche. Oche. Good. Good job. And finally, table. Hmm. Tebolo. 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 Make sure you stretch you stress that olo. So tebolo. Tebolo. Good. Tebolo. Good job. Okay. Now let's continue. If you want to say TV like television, you call it onyonyo. Hmm? O nyo nyo. Onyonyo. Exactly. So okay. onyonyo. Onyonyo. Yeah. That's so, that yeah. sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like Inyo in Igbo, inyo means to peep. Okay. You get inyo. to peep something. So inyo. yeah, onyonyo is like something you peep, something you watch, something you look at. Nice. Yeah, so that's where they coined the word from. Onyonyo. Yeah. So inyo, inyo in here means to peep, right? So peep alone means nyo. So television, okay. call it onyonyo. Onyonyo. Exactly. Okay. You see how the word came about? Yeah. Just that's by peeping, by watching. That's cool. So onyonyo. Onyonyo. One more time. Onyonyo. Okay, last time. Onyonyo. Onyonyo. Good. And light, you know, like light bulb, whatever light it is, you know, whether it's a lantern, a lamp, a light bulb, whichever one, we call it oko. 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 Yeah. So oko goes for fire. Yeah. Oko goes for light. Yeah. So that's what makes it easier. So mm -hmm. all you need to do is just say oko. Anything that illuminates is basically oko. Okay. Oko. Even daylight is oko. Mm -hmm. You get so light in the room, light headlamp, all that, all of them they're called oko in Igbo. Oko. One more time. Oko. Good. Can you say it? Good job. Oko, right? Good. Fan, right? Because in Igbo land, we you know most of these names that you know most of the things that um most of the objects that Igbo, Igbo people name, right? They name it based on what they had those days when mm. the language was generated because Igbo land dates way back. Igbo is very old, you know what I mean? So, and the language is old as well. So what they came up with for fan is what they had then, which is the hand fan, Okay. right? So the name of the fan is called Akufe. Akufe. And it's generated from the hand fan because the hand fan is called Akufe. 
Okay, I could fit. Yeah, so there was nothing like ceiling fan, standing fan, or all those things. So every single fan is Akufe. Now. Exactly. So automatically, every single fan is Akufe. Okay. But normally, if you call Akufe, if you tell a typical Igbo, Igbo man or somebody who speaks and understands Igbo language very well, if you tell them Akufe, the first thing that they'll think about is the hand fan. You get, but because there is no word for the electric fan and all those ones, we still call it Akufe. Right? So can you say it? Akufe. 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 Good. Akufe. Good job. And for the AC, for the air conditioner, uh -huh. you call it Ntoi. 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 Good. Oi is cold. Yeah. So Ntoi is something that gets you cold. Ntoi. Exactly. So something that makes you cold. Okay. That's where the name came from. Ntoi. Ntoi. Good. So we said fan is akufe, uh -huh. which is hand fan. Uh -huh. And we said air conditioner is akufe. Air conditioner. I mean, sorry. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have said it. Oh, okay, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so fan is ak akufe. Good. Air conditioner is ntoi. <laughs> <laughs> so air conditioner is ntoi. ntoi. Fan is akufe. Ak right? Ak Don't forget. Good. Because both of them kind of go hand in hand, you know? Okay. Like fan, akufe, air conditioner, ntoi. And once you know oi, oi is cold. Yeah, not oi. Yeah, so if you say oi na atom, mm. it means I'm cold. Mm -hmm. So from that oi na atom, you say ntoi. Mm. That's ntoi. air conditioner. Okay. You get it? Good. Now, picture. Like if you come to the living room, you're going to see a picture, like mm -hmm. a photograph on the wall or a photo. We call it photo. Photo. Exactly, but this photo. time we spell it with an F mm. in Igbo, so you call it photo. 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 Good job. So photo. That's it. Just from photograph. Photo. Photo. Okay. One more time. Photo. 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 Yeah. Good job. So you see how easy that was, right? These are the typical things that you're gonna find in the living room. But as we always do, we're gonna pause at this point and go through what we've learned so far just to know if she and you watching to know if you actually learned something from what we you know what we thought right and as usual please make sure you say it before she does or at least say it with her right good what do you call tv television in evil onyonyo onyonyo mm -hmm. correct onyonyo <laughs> onyonyo like the last Oh, you stretch it. Onyonyo. Onyo -onyo. Okay. Exactly. Onyonyo. 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 Good. See? Onyonyo. Okay. Onyonyo. On one more time. Onyonyo. Exactly. So you, you stretch the last one. Okay. Good. How about lights? So anything light, light bulb. Oko. Oko. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ah, look at you. <laughs> okay. And fan? I know it. <laughs> Take your time. Akufe. Akufe. Correct. Akufe. I, was just, I was just giving them some time to answer before me. <laughs> okay, no problem. I hope you took the time she gave you. I hope you answered. <laughs> okay, so fan is Akufe. Akufe. Right? Mm -hmm. How about air conditioner? Air conditioner is Ntoi. Ntoi. Correct. So now you know how to say fan, you know how to say air conditioner, mm -hmm. right? Okay. How about picture? Photo. 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 Good job. Photo. So that's basically the typical things that you find in the living room. You, you know how to say chair, you know how to say table, you know how to say clock, mm. fan, air conditioner, you know, most yeah. of those typical things you know how to say it now. So all you have to do, even the rest of you watching, you just have to practice, right? Keep showing off with it. Just call your family member or your friend and tell them, okay, let me tell you the basic things or the typical things you find in the living room. I know how to say it in Igbo and then you just start going, right? So please, if you want to remember this, if you want to retain this knowledge, make sure you always practice. Make sure you always practice. Use it before the day ends. Whatever you learn on this channel, use it before the day ends. Okay? Thank you. So with that, we've come to the end of this segment right but we still have a part two this is just the part one you know and this is these are things that you find in the living room in the next part or in part two we're going to talk about the things you find in the kitchen 
so please make sure you come back to this channel to watch the second part of this video because it's very very important right you need to understand or learn how to to name the objects that you find in the kitchen in Igbo right so please stay tuned and as usual thank you so much for coming we really appreciate you on yeah. this channel and um we hope you come back for the next video of course. yeah we're definitely gonna have her back for the next <laughs> video yes <laughs>